Hey, welcome back. Just like emails, postcards can be automated in House Call Pro to bring your existing customers back each year or more than one time per year. In fact, this is one of my favorite tools in House Call Pro because people love postcards. Believe it or not, people don't get a lot of real mail in the mail anymore. So when they get a postcard from a business they actually know and have used, uh, it's actually kind of a big deal. People appreciate it, especially if you put a coupon on that postcard. So I'm gonna show you today how to use postcards effectively in House Call Pro, and hopefully that will help you get started. So first, you're gonna have to go to My Apps and go to Postcards. It's gonna bring you to this page, and you can schedule postcards in a couple of different ways. You can either send out postcards in batch, which is a one-time blast, uh, or you can send them out in an automated ongoing campaign. If you're gonna do one-time blasts, this is kind of like sending an email out to your list and saying, hey, we're running a special this week. If you're gonna do that, consider only sending your postcards a couple times a year. Otherwise, this could get expensive really quickly, especially if you're sending your postcards to your entire customer list. And if you've got a bunch of customers, like a thousand or more customers in your list, you could spend a lot of money sending postcards to them. So I would think carefully about who you're sending the postcards to, and keep in mind, you can filter by tags. So if you get smart with how you tag your customers, we'll talk more about tagging in a future lesson. If you get smart with how you tag your customers, you could send postcards only to customers who have a certain tag like nonprofit if you want to send a postcard to churches or property manager if you want to send a postcard only to property managers. So you can use tags to drive these lists as well and who you send your postcards to. But again, if you're going to send a one-time blast, only do it a couple times a year because it's probably going to cost you a lot of money if you send them to your entire list. Um, and I would send those postcard blasts around holiday sales or winter savings or apartment move out season or, or that kind of thing. Um, just come up with a, a fun reason to share a coupon with people and then send it out. I like to use ongoing campaigns though because that's a more automated way to use postcards. and I like to make my business as hands-off as possible. So I use ongoing campaigns and the way I use them is I use them to give customers a thank you and then to ask customers to come back later on. So the first automated postcard campaign I do goes up seven days after a customer has hired us. It sends them a $10 off coupon in a postcard seven days after their appointment and says, hey, thanks for having us. Here's $10 off. You can keep this or you can share it with uh, a friend and refer us to a friend if you want. Then 11 months later, we send them another uh, postcard in the mail with another $10 coupon. Uh, I don't have a picture of it here, but it has another $10 coupon and it says, hey, it's been a long time since we've heard from you. Did you know carpet manufacturers recommend cleaning your carpet at least one time per year? Here's a $10 off coupon. Give us a call and schedule your next cleaning appointment. Those are two really simple automated campaigns that you could do to bring your customers back every year. If you want to automate even more, you could consider adding automated postcards at six months, nine months, 18 months, or even 24 months to ask your customers to come back. You could also consider automating postcards with additional services. So let's say for instance, you cleaned carpets for someone three months ago. Now you wanna send them a postcard and say, hey, do you need us to clean your furniture as well? Uh, you could automate a campaign that does that. Three months after a carpet cleaning appointment, send a postcard and say, hey, would you like us to clean your upholstery? Here's a $10 off coupon. There's all kinds of ways that you can use postcards. And like I said, people get these in the mail and they actually do use them. From my own experience running my own carpet cleaning business, my customers handed me these postcards to redeem their coupons on an almost daily basis. If not at least four or five times a week, it was almost every single day. Um, so these postcards really do work. People save them, especially if you put a, a coupon. Your coupon doesn't have to be a lot. I recommend putting at most 10 or 15 bucks on it. There's no sense in doing bigger coupons than that because 10 or 15 bucks, believe it or not, people will keep that postcard for months and hang on to it and call you back again. Um, an additional tip. If you are not a great graphic designer, which I know I'm not, and you're looking for ways to design postcards, um, House Call Pro does provide a bunch of postcard templates that you can choose from when you're doing postcard campaigns. I don't really like their templates that much. I like to use something that has a really strong call to action. So I go to canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A.com, and I design my postcards there. You can export your postcard in a PNG format, and then you can upload it to House Call Pro, and House Call Pro will use that design and automatically send postcards printed out that look like your design from Canva to your customers. So use Canva if you want a more impactful uh, postcard design. In the next lesson, I'm gonna talk about how to use SMS or text messages and how to automate those for your business. I appreciate your time. Have a great one.